Previously on Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we explored ways to stop the Electro Dragon attacks. Today, with my Clan War League appearance complete, let's build the Auto Hut and see how much longer until the Sixth Builder. What's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 27 of the Town Hall 11 free to play series. So my Clan War League appearance has concluded. We dropped the gusto yesterday and finished up with a three star. Remember those power potions that we got the other day? Well, I ended up using the power potion and activating it to use that ice golem witch in bowler army and just straight up drop the gusto on this Town Hall 11 with single target inferno towers. But enough of strategies. We've talked about strategies for the last couple of days. We talked about clan castle troops for competitive gameplay as well as trying to stop the electro dragons and we also gained a free book of building from the trader which i've already kind of claimed because i hit it by accident earlier but we do have a training potion for 10 gems and we also have a hundred gem offer for another builder potion and the reason why i claimed that because we dropped back down to 268 gems but i got something special for you that i'm going to show you real quick so about a month ago back in episode six of the town hall 11 free to play series we talked about the six builder the plan to obtain it and the reasons behind why you should try to obtain that it takes about a month off of the town hall 11 process so in that episode i was a builder's hall 8 i was building the mega tesla and i only had level 12 cannon carts i also mentioned that if you attacked every single day you should be able to attain the resources to keep that process going on and on and working on those tasks driven by the auto hut now here's where we're at right now now we have the Builder's Hall 9, we've already built our Lava Launcher, and I have the resources to do two things. We're going to build the Auto Hut today, and we're also going to upgrade our Star Laboratory. That way I can start working on my Cannon Carts again. We are already at level 16. We have two more levels to go. Now I also mentioned in previous episodes about reaching 3,000 cups on the Builder's Hall side, and with that comes a reward. Actually, this is a reward for the Goblin maps so 20 free gems from the goblin maps but we also gain a free thousand gems and five thousand experience by completing that push so i did a little bit of pushing last night and i was able to kind of cross surprisingly cross the three thousand cup mark and i gained a free thousand gems from that so what's next that's the real question here we have the master builder available and yes we have the elixir to put the star laboratory down but we also just claimed a free book of building and sometimes it just helps to speed up some things and one of those things would be the gear up option on the mortar that we still have to complete so here's how we're going to do this we got the master builder available i also claimed the gold that is required to do the gear up option on one of my mortars and so i'm going to go ahead and do this live that way you can see the significance behind it because it takes exactly 14 days to do the gear up option this is why i've been waiting on it 14 days the master builder would be on this base and that is incredible incredibly too long and that would be loot just sitting on the builder's hall side doing absolutely nothing and that is never really good when you're trying to achieve a task as quickly as possible so i feel like this is the best investment with a builder's book and that's exactly what we're going to do right now we just spent all the gold we got the master builder on this side actually he hasn't even arrived yet all right we're gonna wait till he gets on task and then we're just gonna go ahead and <laughs> we're gonna use a book right here and finish up this task now we have the multi-mortar task complete and that will be actually the first task completed in the auto hut so let's go back to the builders hall side let's jump into the shop use our master builder to go ahead and build the auto hut right over here i think this should be a good location maybe down here seems like a good idea and we're going to go ahead and build it so we have now gained the auto hut hey remember when you first got here i said i'd like to visit your home yes you did buddy <laughs> so i've made some plans to go for a visit or stay well i want you to stay that's where i want you right now but let's go come on quit talking to me <laughs> all right so we got the auto hut built at level one and so with that we can go ahead and say that we have claimed the first task and completed this one right here for the gear up option so we still have three other tasks how much longer do we have to go that's the real question here so we want to go ahead and let's go and upgrade that just for fun so we've already upgraded to level two we still have three additional tasks let's go ahead and upgrade our star laboratory before i forget that's going to take exactly four days away now when we get into the numbers and i've taken a look at what's going on on the uh clash 
Ninja website. Let me go ahead and boost real fast before I forget to do that. We're going to go ahead and boost that up. That way we can speed that guy up. And let's talk about how much longer we have to wait before we obtain that sixth builder. All right, so how much longer until I obtain the six builder? That's what most of you guys want to know, and that's definitely something that I want to know as well. Now, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and claim another free 50 gems. That way you guys get to see where all the gems are coming from because you know how some of the players out there, they say this is a free-to-play series. How does this guy have over a 1,000 gems? It's understandable. I get it. But if you complete those achievements, you can get a lot of free gems. There's like 15,000 free gems in there by completing the achievements. So would you believe that there's a lot of players out there that believe that this is not the most favorable way to play the builder's hall because they feel that it's slightly unfair and it's understandable if you think that the builder's hall should be played just like you do on the town hall side let's say that you're like a builder's hall seven and you're trying to upgrade each individual thing on your base that takes a really long time to do especially once you go to builder's hall eight you gain an additional army camp so you can have a larger army and you can more than likely win more often climb up in trophies and get more loot a lot faster so that's why a lot of players tend to rush now i'm not saying that this side or this this way of playing is easier because I lose to Night Witches a lot, guys. It happens more often than not. But I focused all of my elixir towards the cannon carts because that's a task in the builder's hut or the auto hut. So that's why I haven't even bothered unlocking the Night Witch because I want to try to save my elixir and properly place it in the right areas. That way I can focus on the goal. The goal is the six builder. So how much longer? We're talking about another two and a half months before I ever obtain the six builder. And let's go ahead and jump over to the Clash Ninja website. That way I can show you what I'm looking at over here. So we still have to do two levels on our cannon carts and so we have to upgrade our star laboratory in order to do another 10 days worth of cannon carts so we're talking another two weeks ish with the star laboratory and this is where i'm going to put all of my elixir until this is finished so i want to make sure i want to make sure that i finish up the cannon carts before i start dumping my elixir into the battle machine does that make sense so when we take a look at that option again and we jump over into the Mega Tesla, so we got to do the Mega Tesla and we also need to upgrade the battle machine. So the Mega Tesla is about another, what do we got written down here? Another 25 days. So we have 25 days on the Mega Tesla and that is also a gold option. So all of our gold will go towards this option right here. And then when we jump over to the actual battle machine, we are a battle machine level six right now and it's got to go all the way to level 30. And this all combined is about two months and 14 days. So with that being said, that is an extended period of time that we're going to have to wait, but it's really not that bad in comparison when you really think about it. So realistically, what we have to do here is I'm going to take my elixir. I'm going to, you know, kind of start farming again once I have attacks again. Remember, I do these in the evening when I'm working on the thumbnail or just chilling, watching TV. I'll knock out my attacks, build up my loot, and I still have to upgrade my resource uh, storages. So I have to upgrade these storages to level nine in order to maximize them. That way we don't have to worry about it later on. So once the star laboratory is finished if i have the elixir i'm going to dump it into my cannon cart and then i'm going to start working on using my uh my master builder to upgrade my storages first get them knocked out and then we possibly will upgrade the mine and elixir collectors that way they are bringing in a little bit more passive loot now what I will do next is I will take all of my gold and dump it in to start upgrading the Mega Tesla and then I will keep going with the elixir on the cannon carts until they get to level 18 and then I'm going to have to bounce between the two the Mega Tesla and the battle machine does that make sense so that's kind of my plan moving forward to make sure that I'm not wasting any time and I'm also making sure that I do my attacks every single day because sometimes I tend to forget them but that is the plan moving forward and how much longer we have to wait one final question that I want to cover on the Builders Hall 9 Rush is what army I am using to complete my tasks every single day. And I'm using the best troop that I have available. Since we are working on the task for the cannon cart, it's naturally more than likely going to be the strongest troop that you have if you're investing all of your elixir towards it. So normally I will either bring six boxer giants and all cannon carts, or depending on the base that I'm facing, I will include the bombers to open up some compartments. And so last night, since I 
I had a power potion activated, I went ahead and did that push to get to 3,000 trophies, and that way I could make sure that I claim those 3,000 gems. But this is what the attack would look like if I were to do it. Uh, naturally, we would have lower levels, but we would still have level 16 cannon cards. And the one thing about this strategy is that sometimes you'll have weaker bases, so you should be able to move through the bases very fast, but you also need to make sure that you are not spamming or dropping all of your cannon cards. You want to make sure that you try to hold on to a few of them for the back end of the base because since there's no longer a tie option for the builders hall side and it really comes down to who completes or three stars the base fastest will win you want to make sure that you at least have something available to clear out buildings on the back side so normally what will happen is the boxer giants will lead the way with the battle machine the cannon carts back behind them will clear out the heavy defenses and then normally i'll drop a cannon cart or i'll zoom all the way out to make sure that i cover any buildings that are popping up on the outside or perimeters you know what i'm talking about because you've been there I I've been there many times where I've cleared the base and then all of a sudden they start working their way off the screen and you're like, oh man, are you kidding me? So you got to make sure that you zoom all the way out and clear out the bases. But this is the army that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. That way you can screenshot it for yourself if you're trying to complete this task. And that should cover us for the Builders Hall 9 rush. This is the main focus right now, trying to complete this task to get the sixth builder. Back on the Town Hall side, since we have completed the Clan War Leagues, that means that we're back in that cycle where I don't necessarily need my heroes. And so we've started our upgrades on the Archer Queen again. So the Queen is going to level 47. We're 36 days into this series, and the Queen is going to level 47. So I hope to have her to level 50 before we get into the next Clan War Leagues. And my plan with with that is also working on completing these silver tier tasks as quickly as possible and you'll notice that we've already knocked out a bunch of these and finished up last week's or this week's options so i'm going to go ahead and claim these live we do get that free statue that's actually kind of a cool statue and we're going to go ahead and claim our training potion our power potion some free gold some free elixir and some free dark elixir clock tower potion actually i'm going to probably activate that after this video research potion oh my that's actually phenomenal hero potion i could have used that last night but it's okay not a big deal but I'm really working on trying to get to the end and claim that book of heroes. That way we can try to get to level 50 before the next clan war leagues. But we'll see how that works out in the upcoming future. I've also put down my grand warden again to level 11. We want to try to get him as close to level 20 as possible before the next clan war leagues. So naturally the barb king will go last. We'll get the king done after these two or at least after the queen is finished. We'll start working on the king. And then we also have the eagle artillery going to level 2. And last but not least for those of you that are concerned about the passive loot i have designated a builder towards my elixir collectors my gold mines and my dark elixir collectors because we want to try to get these maxed out that way we have the maximum amount of passive loot coming on the base now most of you guys this is probably a personal preference thing you don't necessarily have to do these because if you farm a lot you don't necessarily need to worry about but if you do get these completed, you don't have to work as hard farming or completing the goblin maps or tying up your practice rounds, stuff like that. And inside my laboratory, so we've had a lot of questions that we have been asking, what am I going to be targeting with my Clan War League medals? You should know by now that I'm going to be getting hammers of fighting. So I went ahead and started upgrading my ice golem since we did unlock him recently. And that way I could start working towards maxing out the army that I showed you at the very beginning of the video, because that's a very powerful army hybrid is amazing i did have some success in the clan war leagues with the hybrid but i also had some success with this army as well so i want to try to get this one maxed out that way i don't have to waste power potions on it and i can use a power potion on a different army if i so choose to do so so that is my plan there i'm going to go ahead and finish up the video by using a research potion right there and take an hour off of that guy or one day off of that guy and pretty much this episode was based on answering a lot of questions that i've seen in the past couple of episodes so since we've been working on a lot of strategies and techniques to stop attacks and all other good stuff so hopefully you're able to get something out of today's video in regard to the six builder i just don't want to make a video saying i got the six builder and you're like okay cool man where did that even come from how did you do that so now hopefully you understand what my logic is behind obtaining the six builder and you're able to follow along with it if you enjoyed the content make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you've not done so already and if you like watching us every single day turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you want to see this series from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care